Our guest is Matthew Siegel, who's co-founder and executive editor of Attention, a new media company that aims to empower the millennial generation and encourage social change. Matthew also co-founded OurTime.org, one of the country's largest advocacy organizations for young Americans. He received his degree in sociology from Kenyon College in 2008. Matthew, you've played a key role in registering hundreds of thousands of voters and also raising awareness among a new generation of voting rights and other social issues. How did a liberal arts education inform your decision to get into this kind of work? Well, a liberal arts education above and beyond forced me to think critically about the problems that exist in our society. And those problems necessitate fundamental legislative change, many of them. And the only way to exact that change is by participating, by voting. And so with fewer and fewer young people voting uh, as a whole in society, the last few elections, uh, it's been incredibly important for us to find ways to use technology, to use culture, and to use new media to help mobilize a larger part of young people in the electorate to turn out and vote. What's next on your horizon? I think that no matter what capacity I work in in my life, the goal is to ultimately engage more people in civil society, to engage more people in voting, and to make sure that people are active participants. Uh, I've always been a subscriber to the belief that you either help write the menu or you're on the menu, which is something I said earlier today in the panel discussion. But Ultimately, people have to be active participants in shaping what their future looks like. People have to uh, not let others choose for them, especially marginalized and disenfranchised people who are voiceless in society. And because we live in a democracy where theoretically we have one person, one vote, it's critical that we give people the knowledge, the empowerment, and the information necessary so that they contribute Toward, toward their own well-being. What other issues does your company want to tackle? So our, our company is covering everything from social justice topics like racial uh, equality, uh, LGBT rights. We are focused on feminism and equal pay for women, more women's representation in business, uh, in uh, media, and so forth. We're very focused on economic empowerment. College affordability is a huge issue for young people, uh, mitigating student debt, as well as creating a workforce that's robust to provide young people jobs and uh, fair, decent wages. And then finally, we're focused a lot on the environment and creating a more sustainable planet, uh, a healthier planet where people uh, can breathe the air and drink the water. and ultimately pass that on to their kids and their grandkids. We're currently growing at a fast pace, so I definitely anticipate that we'll be growing by the dozens and dozens as uh, the years progress. And ultimately, it's our goal to be a robust, multi-platform content company that's programming great information, meeting people where they live, and giving them an opportunity to take action so that they can improve their lives. What education advice would you give to a socially conscious young man or woman? I would say give yourself an opportunity to have your passions kindled and stimulated and fueled even more. So whether you're passionate about a particular area of activism, whether you're passionate about a particular field of study, go to the place, go to the environment where you have access to the professionals and the instructors who can help you really hone in and rein in on uh, what you ultimately aspire to be better at. And for me, that was at a small liberal arts college where I had access to great professors who could mentor me and help me think critically through text and help me communicate more effectively and argue better and debate better, which are skill sets that I use every day in writing and in journalism and in media. But uh, for others, it, it might vary. But find yourself an opportunity to access great mentors and 
that obviously is going to be more possible in a small liberal arts setting. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Matthew.